More than a quarter century after Kristen Smart, a California Polytechnic State University student, disappeared after an off-campus party, a jury in California on Tuesday convicted Paul Flores, a fellow student, of murdering her. A separate jury found his father, Ruben Flores, 81, not guilty of helping to hide the body. Ms. Smart's remains have never been found. The verdicts were announced in Monterey County Superior Court in Salinas, California, capping a long-running case that began on May 25, 1996, when Ms. Smart left an off-campus party around 2 a.m. accompanied by Paul Flores. He later told investigators that he had walked her as far as his dorm, where they parted ways. Friends who spoke to investigators reported that she was intoxicated, and that Paul Flores repeatedly told them that he could accompany her to her dormitory alone, because she needed support to walk, court documents say. Miss Smart, a freshman who was 19, was never seen again. A missing persons report was filed three days later. At a news conference on Tuesday attended by law enforcement officials, Ms. Smart's father, Stan Smart, said that while the split verdicts meant that his family's quest for justice would continue, he was grateful to the two juries. He added that the case had been an agonizingly long journey with more dams than ups, and that without Kristen, there is no joy or happiness in this verdict. Law enforcement officials noted the long pursuit of justice in the case. Dan Down, the San Luis Obispo County District Attorney, said that justice delayed is not justice denied. And Sheriff Ian Parkinson of San Luis Obispo County said that the case would not be over until Ms. Smart's remains are found and she has returned home. Robert Sanger, Paul Flores's lawyer, declined to comment on Tuesday. Ruben Flores and his lawyer, Harold Messick, told local outlets on Tuesday that they were grateful for the jury's decision. Paul Flores, 45, will face a sentence of 25 years to life in prison when he is sentenced on December 9, prosecutors said. After Ms. Smart's disappearance in 1996, the search for her ranged from remote areas of the campus to her dorm room in Muir Hall, where investigators found her wallet and reminders to turn in classwork.